Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Jones, and I am from theboxman.com, where we change the way you should watch TV. I'll put a link to our website in the description of the video. But in this website, I am very excited to present once again how this buffer gauge on this device has been a game changer to eliminate my buffering. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to jump right into the video. Thank you so much for tuning in to the stream machines. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Odyssey, it's called the Box Bot. If you're on our other platform, um, the Rumble, I think it's called Stream Machines too. Either way, we're on all three of those platforms, and this video will be there. Now, since I'm on YouTube, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell if you like some of this content. It is centered around different Android devices, but mainly the formula devices are very, very popular. And so I want to show you this buffer gauge and what it does. So the buffer gauge from the formula's perspective, it really deals with, you know, latency. So if you have network latency, that just speaks to how your network is communicating across the board. If you have a VPN or you have uh, bad internet, or maybe you're in a challenging area, you want the buffer gauge or you want it to be either long or at a higher number, depending on which formula you're looking at. If you have great internet and you're in a great location, uh, you want it at a lower number or the short part of a, the different device. Now I'm going to show you two devices on how this works. I'm going to show you on the formula Z11 pro max or because they deal with the app called my TV online three. And then I'm going to shift and show you the difference on the uh, my TV online two, which are on the Z 10s models, the Z 10 pro max and so on and so forth. So that way you can see how the buffer gauge can be set. Now, let me say this up front: There is no secret formula. You're gonna have to play with it a little bit, uh, massage it a little bit so it'll work for you. So without any further ado, once you learn that, we're gonna, uh, it, you should have some great, great, uh, you know, a great experience. So without any further ado, I'm gonna go back to the homepage and then I'm gonna open up because I can't go into my TV online three on certain sections. So I'm gonna open up with pictures of what that looks like on how to get to settings and then go down to what you need to. And those pictures will work on both uh, models. So let's go ahead. And All right, now that you've seen the pictures, I am in the settings menu, as you can see. Uh, it's gonna look the same even in my TV online too, which I'll show you in a moment. But to set them up, the gauges are gonna be looked, I should say the how to set them up is gonna be a little bit different. One, you can put a number in, and I think this one you're gonna either, you know, select long or short. So this is the Z11 Pro Max, which uh, really premieres my TV online three. What you're going to do is go down until you get to, um, I think it's player options. You're going to highlight that and press OK. As you can see, the buffer time is here. This is where you want to get to, the buffer time. So my buffer time is on short. If I click on it and I select long, I have two options. I can either select long or short. Now, if I am on short, that means that my speed is at a higher level. I'm in a good connection where my network is strong. So a short selection, okay, will increase um, my communication, my network communication. So everything runs a lot smoother. Okay, it's not choppy, less buffering. If I were in a place where in another part of the state and I chose long, now I'm in a place where my internet is not as good. Maybe I'm running a VPN all the time, or you know I'm just having net, uh, just network connection issues. You wanna put it on long or at a higher place because the higher the latency or the, the, um, 
the setting, it helps with bad communication, network communication. So it just evil evens out the latency. In other words, you won't buffer a lot when you set it up. Now you're going to need to figure that out, how that works. And, um, most people that do this, or I can say that I've done it, uh, where we live, it just runs very, very well. Now you might have challenging spots in your house where let's say downstairs near the router, you run it on short but upstairs away from the router you need to run it on long because you might have a dead spot in your home play with it a little bit but whatever you choose it should help out a heck of a lot and you shouldn't have any issues with that whatsoever so what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to my tv online too i'm going to select a different box and we're going to take it from there so you can see what the other side looks like too now we're on a Z10, which previews my TV online too. We're in the settings part. I probably shown you the same pictures because it's the same process. You press the menu button on the remote and then you're going to get the menu on the left and you're going to come down to settings and press OK. Once you're in settings, it's the same process, but it's going to look a, bit, a little bit different as we go down to the player. Um, the player player options right here and press OK, you're going to see buffer time has a number next to it. So zero right here, zero or off zero to one, two or three is for fast. OK, so let's say I have mine at three seconds because I'm in a place right now, same place I was on the other device where my Internet is very good. Let's say that I'm having a challenging spot upstairs. I might set that box at 10 seconds because that is the long buffer time because the network communication there or somewhere else, no matter where you live, you might need to change that. Now, I have some customers that say, Jeff, I have high speed. Why is it I'm having a gigabyte and I'm buffering on certain things? Maybe where you live, I can't say in the middle of a rule, Iowa, whatnot, they say you have high speed, but if you're buffering like that a lot, you might want to change the buffer time. So it changes the network latency or communication to eliminate the latency because the higher the number it's going to buffer. All right. Unless you change it, the lower the number, you should be okay. Okay. So I want to make sure that's very clear. If you're in a space again, where it's challenging, you have a VPN, your network is challenging. You want a higher latency closer to 10. If you're in an area like myself in my garage, but my router is near me and I'm able to plug directly in. So that way I can leave it at three seconds. My buffer time will help my network communication communicate on a really solid level. Now, as I go ahead and close out this video, I'm very grateful for your time. I hope this was helpful because you will see that the buffer gauge, when it's fully engaged in one of the pictures, you know you have a solid connection when it's fully engaged. And I'll show you a picture of that as we close. But I want to thank everyone for watching this video and uh, tuning in. Go ahead and click again the notification bell. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family about it. Maybe you have family members that are looking for great devices uh, that have good services on them like this My TV Online 2. This one and done in particular <coughs> is something that we preview. It has that My TV Online 2 for over three years. Uh, I would look into that. We'll put some information in the description. There's a free video about it. Just text the word bacon to the number in the description and you'll get a video link and you can see what that's all about. Or maybe you can just text us and we can have a good chat and find out what you're looking for. If it's not us, it's fine. At least you know who we are. With that said, happy Monday, everyone. Happy President's Day. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>